Daf Samach Gimel Amit Aleph. I will begin Samach Beis Amit Beis nine lines from the bottom towards the beginning of the line. Continue on with what's permitted in our bias and what's permitted in Shul. Omar Rav Rikika Bevesa Kanesa Shari said to spit in a Shul is mutter meter to have a minnow, just like we find about wearing shoes. Ma minnow Bahara bias also Bevesa Kanesa is mutter, just like we find. And that by shoes, Bahara bias, it's also it's also to come to Bahara bias wearing shoes. Yet in shul, it's mutter. Afrikika, Bahara bias, who does, Bevesa Kanesa Shari. Similarly, the Rikika is the same thing. The Isser is only in Harabayas. So we see that what's also in Harabayas, it doesn't transfer to a shul. And we see that by men also, we should say the same thing by Rikika. Spitting is also in Harabayas, but not in a shul. Why are you learning out from shoes, from wearing shoes? Nail of the Campandria. Learn out from making is taking a shortcut. So you should learn out and say that just like a shortcut is also in a shul, using the shul as a shortcut, and you should say spitting is also awesome. The Tana is learning it out from a minnow, and you're learning it out from a capandria. We see that the Tana is learning it out from minnow. My the Sanya Loy Kana Sodom Lahara Bayas Loy Bimakla should be out. A person should not come into Hara Bayas, not with a walking stick. Veloy Biminolish Baragla, not wearing shoes. Veloy Bimos at Surulob Sadina, and not with money wrapped up in, in a uh, handkerchief. Upin Dasa Mukshalas Lacharev, and not with a money belt that's that's hanging down. Veloy Asara Kapandandri, and he should not make it a Shortcut, you not, should not take a shortcut there. Urakika, and you should not spit there, Mikalvachim, Mimino. And we learn out the Isser spitting from Mikalvachim or from Mino. Ma Mino, Shein Boy Derech Bizayan, Amra Taira, Shalnala, Hamal Raglacha. Ma, the wearing shoes, it's nothing disgraceful at all about wearing shoes. And yet the Torah says, in a holy place, in a Malkim Kodesh, Shalnala, Hamal Raglacha. They say you can't wear shoes in a Malkim Kodesh. Rikika, she derech b'zayin, spitting, which is derech b'zayin, lo kol shikain, certainly it should be also in Haravai. So you see that we do learn out from minnow, and if we learn out from minnow, legabe, rikika, in Haravai, so we should learn out also from minnow, that minnow, rikika, from minnow, legabe, ashul, that it should be mutu. Rabbi Yosi Bar Yehuda Oimer Einut Saroch. You don't need this kalach Oimer. Harai Oimer ki ein lovoi el shara melach belu shak. The Mordechai could not come to Achashverosh to the palace to the Shar Hamelech wearing a sack, a sackcloth. Veloid zvorum kal v'chaymer uma sack she'en omoyz. A sackcloth is not moz, and yet he was not allowed to wear a sackcloth in front of the Achashverosh and hid the Shar of Achashverosh. And certainly Rukika, which is moz, you should not be allowed to do that in a shul. And secondly, Lifnei Bals of Adam Kach, this was talking in front of a Melch Bals of Adam, in front of a Chashverish. Rikika, Shehi, Meusa, Lifnei Melch, Malchem, Lochem, so spitting, which is Meusa, and we're talking in front of Melch, Malchem, Lochem, Lokolchkin, certainly that it should be also, it should be also Rikika in Harabais. So we see Uncle Panim that we see that we do learn out from Minnel. So what, what's your question over here? Why should we say that Rikika should be also? We should say that really you should be machmir in both cases, that you should be machmir. We should go l'chumra in both cases. And therefore we should say as follows. And therefore we should say, V'ema harabayas to oser b'mino. Harabayas, where it's also to wear shoes, lel femimino. Therefore we should learn out from mino. And harabayas, where it's also to wear shoes, we learn out, therefore, it's certainly also Rikika. Basic has is the shard of the minnow, but a shul that's wearing shul, uh, shoes is motor, don't learn out from minnow. Adiyal of min minnow, ulahatir, why are you learning out from minnow and be matir, nail of a kambadria, velasar, rather be machmir, meaning in both places we should be machmir for the covet, covet of harbais, covet of the shul. In Harabais, where wearing shoes is also there, yes, we see the Tana learns out from Minno, because the point is, we learn how to be Machmir. So, therefore, if Minno is also, certainly Rikika. 
But in a shul where wearing shoes is mutter, don't learn out from a min all over there by a shul because that will be make will be matir. Rather, learn out from a shortcut, a kapandra, which is oser, and therefore rikika should also be oser. So, Ella, what is the pshad? Why? How does Rava know that it is mutter to spit in shul? Ella, Omar Rava, ki basic. It's like a person's house. Ma basic kapandari kapidinche. And you have to make a shortcut and through a person's house. He's makbid not to make a shortcut through his house. But rikika minal lay kapid, he's not makbid on rikika and minal. Now, keep bearing in mind that in those days there were earthen floors and customs were different. So, Shoes, a person's not makbid about wearing shoes in his house. In those days, they were not also not makbid on rakika. It would be absorbed into the earth and the floor, the earth and floors. So, over here we say, ki beisa ma beisa kapandreya kapidinish rakika miloi kapidinish a beisa kanesa kapandreya da osir rakika minal shori and therefore rakika minal shori. So therefore, that's what Rava holds and that's the psak that is motor. But again, keep in mind that in those days, it, where there were earthen floors and the customs were different, and people weren't makpid to spit on the floor. Nowadays, many people, most people, are very makpid on, on something like that, and therefore, chayra, the swara, would not apply uh, to be martyred in a shul either. It would be considered a minigazoyim. But this is uh, the subject in Paiskim, which the Buddha discusses this at length as well. The next segment in the Mishnah says, Kol chais mei bracha shibbe mikdash. In the base of mikdash, when they ended a bracha, they didn't end it, for instance, like chaynen adas, baruch Hashem chaynen adas. They ended a baruch Hashem l'oilam, me'oilam vada oilam, chaynen baruch chaynen adas. They added on the uh, addition in the mikdash, min ha'oilam vada oilam. So, kol kach lama, why do we have this extensive, in the base of Megdash, this extensive bracha that we add on this addition? The answer, the response in the Megdash is also lengthy. We answer outside the base of Megdash, we answer to bracha amen. In the base of, in, in the base of Megdash, the response to a bracha was not amen, what was baruch shem kivoyed malchus aleolam void. So the response to a bracha is lengthier. The bracha itself is also lengthier. How do we know that the bracha that you make is minha oilam ad oilam? So we see that we say a bracha shem kvoidecha omiramakal bracha sehila that we make bracha shem kvoid mafusa li oilam void. So you might think that for all the brachas, there is one response. There is one response to all of the brachas. On each one and every bracha. So on the kol bracha bracha, you have to give the praise for each and every bracha. So the base of Mikdash, the response was Baruch Shem Kvoid Malchus Ali Oilam Void. The next segment of the Mishnah says they were a masakin that a person should be shoyal b'shlem chavera should greet his friend with the name of Hashem. And we brought rayas. The Mishnah brought several several rayas proofs to that 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 we use the shem Hashem. Yiskin v'shiyadam shal b'shlem chavera. My v'aymer. Why do we have to bring additional rayas, a different additional proofs to this? So we brought a raya from the first raya was from Boyas. He said Hashem imcha gibor achayim. So why is that not sufficient? V'chi teim the Gemara says, "Boys, me died to nafshe kana." You might think that he did it on his own, and there is no makor for this. So Shema Hashem imcha gibor achayel. So we bring another raya from Gidon that the Malach uh, greeted Gidon, also Hashem imcha with the name of Hashem. So you see that we see from a pasuk that this is this is the proper conduct. Now, we might think that this is not a greeting. You might think that the Malach is telling Gideon that Hashem imcha, that Hashem is, it's like a haftach, Hashem will be with you, you'll go to war, and you'll be victorious. Hashem imcha, meaning not that you greet a person with Hashem Hashem, he was giving him a message, perhaps, that this was a message that Hashem is telling him, to give him a haftach, that he'll be with him and be victorious in the war. So Tashma al Tavuz Kizakna Imecha. 
don't shame your mother. Right? That even though she's old, don't shame. Meaning, meaning that what the Zakanim, what we have, the Kabbalah, what Boyaz did is is Alpi Hashem, is Alpi, is Alpi the uh, Apostle, is Alpi the uh, Makor, and therefore we can rely on Boyaz that when he greeted, he greeted Hashem Imcha, that that is the proper way, that's the proper conduct, even though it's using the Shem Hashem. And from this Pasuk you see that even though it's, in a way, it's being made for the tire using the Shem Hashem, but and as Rashi explains, that it's the Shem's Rotson that there should be Achva Vareos Vishalom, and therefore it was, this is under the circumstances, it was permitted to use the Shem Hashem for this purpose. This pasuk of Eis Lasos Hashem, you can darshan it both ways, from front to back and from back to front. So it's me I cry me Rachel is safe in midrash, me safe in the Rachel midrash, me Rachel is safe in midrash. You can darshan it from front to beginning to end. Eis Lasos Hashem, it's a time to act for Hashem, to punish the Ivrei Avera. My time, I'm sure, me fear is Sarasecha. They are made for the Tyra, so Eis Lasos Hashem, you punish them. And me say for the Rachel midrash, you can darshan from end to beginning. Is hey fear is Sarasecha? They were made for Tyra that they were, did something that were made for the time, my time, because like in this case over here with Boyas, there was an ace last ace, and therefore, you're made for the Torah to, this, to a certain extent. So therefore, he used the Shem Hashem to foster Shalom Vareyas. When people gather in, when the Machnisim Pazer, when the people who are not there to teach Torah to be to be Mefitz uh, Torah to teach Torah to the to the public, then you you should take it upon yourself. If others don't do it, you should take it upon yourself. But at the time when the others do it, then you gather in, then you gather in and you learn your Torah for yourself. You leave it to the others who are doing it. Then you do it and you're knowing with yourself a minig vanova. And then your kanes. Imra is a door shatara chaviva la pazer. If you see a generation with Torah's chaviv, then spread your Torah. If the Torah is chaviv to them, and if they're machabed the Torah and they want the Torah, spread your Torah to them. So shenema yesh mafazer v'noizavayim. There's a person who's mafazer. He spreads it around, but his wealth increases. You'll spread your Torah around, and your Torah, your chachma, will increase. But But if you see a, the generation that Torah is not chaviv to them, so Kanai is gathered in, don't spread Torah to them, because then it will be a a chil Hashem, it will be a bizoin for the Torah to try to be mafazer Torah to them when they're not machshed it. Shenemar is lasus Hashem, a fair sarasecha, that therefore the times you have to now don't teach Torah. If there is a sech, it's lasa l'shem for kavod shem shemayim. There are times when you don't teach Torah to the rabbim if it's if that's the kavod shem shemayim. Dorish bar kapara bar darshins zola is kvuz kneimine. If the merchandise goes down in value, buy it. If it, prices go down, that's the time to buy. When the prices go down, so on a pasuk level, pasuk pshat, it's talking eitzah uh, taiva and how to. Buy merchandise, how to invest. When the price goes down, you invest. But uh, it's also mentioned that in, in Darshan, in the tar- in terms of when people are not much of Torah, but gather Torah for yourself. And the time, there will be a time where you'll, there'll be the best investment that goes down in, in value. People are meaning it doesn't, never goes down in value. People are not much of it. In their eyes, it goes down in value. You, you, you amass Torah. You gather it, then you t- learn the Torah, and you store it up, and you'll see how it will go up in value. But also the less gavar taman, have a gavar in a place where there's no gavar, when there's no person to paskin, then you paskin. Om rabai shmamina, ba'asa diiz gavar taman, loy zeva gavar. It teaches you when there is someone to paskin, then you don't paskin. Pshita. So of course, if there is someone there, and there's someone there to, to paskin, meaning, and he's greater than you, well, of course, you don't paskin if he's greater than you. 
then why would you publish? If they're equal, if they're equal, but if someone else is going to Paskin, then you take a back seat and to conduct yourself with a Mida of Anova and let him Paskin. What is a small parsha that the Yisayas of Torah are tluy are dependent on it? The Pasuk is, Noah Hashem in all your ways. In every way you conduct yourself, have Hashem in mind, think about Hashem, think of Hashem Shemayim, He'll straighten your ways, He'll straighten your path. Behold, Rav, Omarav, Afil, Dvaravera. That means, even for Dvaravera, that sometimes you have to do with Varavera, Laman Hashem, Lashem Shemaim. And the classic case is Eliyahu Hara Carmel, when he was Lashem Shemaim, he wanted to and he wanted to show how the Nevi'a Baal were false, and how all the Vayda Zorah was false with the Baal. And so therefore he was mocked there on a Boma, which is an Isser, but he was mocked there on a Boma, and the age came down to Shemaim and consumed the Korban, to prove, to show that he was the Navi Emes and that, that there's Min Shemaim and the uh, Avedah Zohar of Baal and their Nevi'im are all false and false and meaningless. So there was an Avera over here. He was, he was Makriv on Aboma when it was also to be Makriv on Aboma. But nevertheless, he did L'Shem Shemaim. So therefore, behold, the Da'eu even L'Dvar Avera, if it's L'Shem Shemaim. And as the Forsham speak out, and uh, the Klei Yoker at length over there discusses that, that's when there's somebody who's a Muxuk, a Novi Hashem, and then he knows the circumstances where Kovar Hashem outweighs the Isser, he knows the Tam, Tamim of the Isser, and where Kovar Hashem Shemaim would now, would now be overrule the Isser. But that's only with someone who's Muxuk, like El Yom Novi, uh, but otherwise this certainly would not apply and certainly in our in our generation in our days George Bar Kapara lo oil me lama adam es benoi umnes nakiva kal a person should always try to teach his son a trade a trade that that is nakia and kala it's easy and it's clean and it's something that he can have a parnosa without without tirdus and without uh, traveling too much mahi what is that omar of khista machtid lam yusa that he stitches in a jacket, they embroider a jacket and make stitching over there. It's something that is Nikia and Kala. Tanya Rabbi Oimer, Lo'elam Al Yarba Adam Reim Besach Beis. A person should not have many friends bringing a lot of people into his house. Shenemar Ish Reim Lisrei. You have too many friends, too many people come in, there's too much socializing. It leads to arguments, to quarreling. So you should minimize to an extent how many reyim he brings into his house. Tanya Rebbe Oymer, Al Yimna Adam Api Tribes of Seth Mesa, a person should not put a manager in running his affairs of his house. He should not give things over to somebody else. Sheel Mole, Loimina, Pati, Paras Yosef, Api Tribes of Seth Mesa, Loibol Yosef Dover. If not for the fact that he would, Pati, gave Yosef to be the uh, manager of the house, there would have not been this Misa with his wife and Yosef. So a person should not leave his house in the affairs of his house, in the hands, totally in the hands of an Apitrapus. Tanya Rabbi Yomer, Laman is Choparshas Nazar, Laparshas Saita. What's the smich of the parts of Nazar and Saita that are written next to each other? Laman Loch, Shekola Roya, Saita Bekilkula, Yazar Atmina Yain. If a person sees a Saita Bekilkula, she's given the waters and the terrible outcome of what happens to her and the punishment that she has, he should take a lesson from it. And he should become a nozer and refrain from wine, because the maizer's nose, uh, it comes through through wine, it comes through drinking. So he should take a lesson from that. And yazer asmin yain. So that's why we have the smichas of parshas. Amr chiz kibre the repair na chamer of yaychan lamim and this mucha parshas soita le parshas trumas and maizers. What's the connection of soita to the parsha of trumas and maizers? If a person has Trumas and Maises, he's supposed to be given the Trumas of the kind of Maises to live. If he does not give his Trumas and Maises, he'll have to come on to the Kayan for his wife because he'll suspect her of being Mazan, of not being faithful. He'll have to bring her to the Kayan to, to test her with the, with the Maisaita. So if he deprives the Kayan, 
Saif, that he's going to have to rely and depend on the Kayim. Shenemar ve'ish es kadoshav lo yu. Ish es kadoshav, so posh of is that ish es kadoshav lo yu. He has the right, the person, to give it to whatever coin he wants. But here, redarshning ish es kadoshav lo yu, he's for him, if he keeps them, if he keeps the kadoshav for himself and does not give it to the coin, then the samachle ish ish kisi seishte. And then Smith's Parshas, if his wife will be a Saita, Uksi Vehevi Ishashta, and then he'll have to bring her to the Kayan. Viloyoid El Saifshin Nisrukhim. And not only that, at the end he'll come into poverty, into Aeneas, and he'll he will be dependent on the Miser, so Miser Oni. Shinamar Vishad Kadosh of Lo Yu. He will have the Kaj, he will have that Miser. That's what will be given to him, Miser, because he'll be a he'll be an Oni, he'll be poor, and he'll have to come on to but if he does tshuva and he gives it, then he will now his wealth will be restored. He'll become wealthy. Someone who gives to the koyin, lo yeah, what's for him will be lo moment harbe. There'll be great wealth, great money for him. Omar of Huna Bar, Bachia Mishum, Rabbi Lozara Kapa, call a Mishnat of Shem Shemaim, but Sarah, Kaifim Le Panasos. If a person with Rahman son of Soros, but he is misspelled to Hashem, he's dependent on Hashem, and he sees that it's a Yad Hashem, and he's Davin to Hashem, then his Parnasa will be doubled. He'll be rewarded. Parnasa will be doubled. Shinemar, Bahoya Shakai, Betzarecha, Bechesev, Toyofasloch. If it's Shakai Bitzarach, if you're Tsar if the Shem Shamaim with your Tsar, then we can't say Toyofasloch, your money will be Toyofas, will be doubled. Rav Shmuel Bar Nachmeni Amar Parnasam, why Fefes like? It will like fly high like a bird. Like I Fefes, like be my Fefes to fly. Shenemar, we can't say Toyofasloch, like to fly. Amar Utevi, Amar Vyashi, Kolom Rapa, Atsum, Medivri Tera, and Goy Koyach, Lama, Beyom Tsar. If a person weakens himself from Divri Torah, if he's not strong in Torah, he becomes lazy and lax in Divri Torah, Rahman Hassan becomes a Yom Tzara, then he doesn't have the strength to withstand the Tzara. He doesn't have the internal fortitude. If you become weak, you weaken yourself, then your strength leaves you. You don't have the strength to withstand it. Omar Ravami Bar Masan Rishmul Vafilo Mitzvah Achas. Even if he weakens himself with even one mitzvah, Shenemar He's Rapisa Mikomak He's Rapisa. If you weaken yourself even from one mitzvah, that that shachens him up, and he doesn't have the strength to withstand the tzara.